The market had slowed down between the months of March and May of this year, pretty much across all sectors, uh, and the only roles being recruited were those which were considered business critical at the time. Uh, but what we found was that things had started to pick up around June onwards, uh, with a particular surge in activity in certain sectors, including FMCG, online retail, uh, and supply chain distribution. Within the accounting and finance market, and specifically between the 40 to 60k salary banding, uh, we observed a higher number of roles that were commercially biased, such as finance business partner roles uh, and finance analyst positions. Over the summer months, we did see a decline in day rate roles for BAU finance, with clients opting for fixed term contract instead. Uh, that being said, we have recently seen an increase in day rate assignments, ranging from short-term year-end hence right the way through to large-scale finance transformation projects. Over 2021, we expect to see a significant increase in finance transformation positions, both on the interim and permanent market. Uh, we have a number of businesses across the Midlands who have already planned automation projects and ERP implementations for next year. Um, we also expect businesses to go through restructures and while some businesses will shrink in size, others are on the acquisition trail uh, and so we expect the commercial finance skill set to be highly sought after. Um, we're also expecting tax and insolvency skill sets to be in high demand. Other trends we expect to see uh, over the course of next year include more homeworking. A huge number of our clients have invested heavily in software to allow for remote working, so we expect this to continue now for the long term. Um, and finally, we expect clients to continue using technology as part of their interview process, uh, with many clients saying they plan to do their first stage interviews via uh, Zoom or Microsoft Teams permanently moving forward. For hiring managers looking to recruit next year, the first challenge will be attracting the very best candidate for the role. Uh, some of the strongest candidates won't be readily available uh, and they may be nervous about leaving their current employment um, in this economic climate. Once you've found a great candidate, it's really important that you sell your company, as well as the opportunity and the progression that comes with the role itself. Uh, we expect counter offers to be really aggressive next year and so we'd always recommend that clients make their first offer a strong one uh, and avoid going into bidding wars with candidates. Finally, we've found that agile working and other softer benefits are highly desirable so if companies can offer working from home options uh, that will make the offer all the more appealing. As to be expected, COVID had a negative effect on accounting hiring throughout 2020. However, the length and severity of its impact differed greatly by sector. Initially, in Q2, the effects were felt uniformly across all industries, with a number of existing roles either put on hold or cancelled, along with a greater level of scrutiny placed on any new roles before being approved. As we entered the second half of the year, we saw hiring levels increase steadily. Firms pivoted quickly to flexible hours, embraced working from home, and businesses also became more comfortable with remote interviewing and onboarding. Increasingly, businesses viewed the pandemic as a finite existential issue that had a limited impact on their day-to-day -day operations. There was a need to continue operating and trading. This was particularly the case for banking and financial services sector and large multinational firms. This steady increase in hiring continued from Q3 and into Q4. Increasingly, it included organisations outside of financial services with most industries returning to the market, with the exception of those most severely affected by the pandemic, such as entertainment, travel and hospitality. Throughout the year, there was a distinct preference to hire experienced professionals. 
where there was a greater confidence in their ability to deliver immediately. The most in-demand level remained that four to six year PQE, with firms veering away from candidates that required greater guidance and training. Three biggest trends we anticipate for 2021 will be a continued focus on experience hiring, candidate reluctance to enter the market, and a need to embrace flexible working arrangements indefinitely. Through 2020, we saw an increased focus on hiring more experienced professionals, as opposed to hiring more junior candidates with an intention of training and upskilling. We anticipate this will continue throughout 2021. Given the greater scrutiny placed on new hires and the lean accounting teams most organisations run at the moment, businesses are now looking for an immediate value add from new joiners. In addition to this, training and mentoring more junior staff has been challenging whilst working remotely. With the lingering question marks over the economic outlook, there will be continued reluctance by candidates to actively enter the market, particularly when they are in a secure position at the moment. This is even more apparent for top talent who for the most part will be in roles with clear career opportunities in front of them. As a result, more and more candidates will have to be proactively approached. And opportunities will need to be appealing, not just from a compensation point of view, but from a career progression and a work environment point of view. A continuation of this point on the work environment. Most businesses through 2020 were able to implement flexible working arrangements and flexible hours and infrastructure for candidates to work from home. Given the nature of most accounting roles, the ability to perform functions somewhat remotely and deadlines that can be achieved autonomously, we would anticipate that moving forward, this will be the norm for most accounting functions. As businesses seek to best position themselves to trade through what is likely going to be a challenging 2021, we'll see an increased need for qualified accountants to assist in analysis for making sound financial decisions, be that examining existing costs or analysing potential areas of opportunity. This will be particularly true for firms with large cost bases. As such, experienced modelers, finance business partner and fp &A professionals will be in high demand. We anticipate we'll see this across most industries from tech and media and throughout the financial services sector. There is a constant demand for niche technical accounting professionals with industry-specific IFRS experience. Of late, candidates have gravitated towards more forward-looking commercial roles, leaving a lack of candidates in technical reporting focused ones. This can be said for group reporting roles across in all industries, policy and regulatory reporting roles within financial services, and industry-specific roles within investment management such as fund accounting. The pandemic had a number of effects on the market. However, two of the key changes from a candidate experience and engagement point of view related to recruitment processes and flexible working environments. An interesting byproduct of conducting recruitment processes and onboarding remotely has been that from start to end, things have moved much more quickly than usual. Those firms that embrace the changes and have the most efficient processes in place were less likely to lose talent to competing firms. Additionally, the pandemic forced even the most resistant of firms into flexible work arrangements, be that working from home or offering flexible core hours. The indication from clients is this will continue for the foreseeable future. Thus, in order to attract talent, particularly from organisations where this is on offer, employers need to be, offer, be able to offer similar flexibility where possible. This is particularly true as salary packages, bonuses and benefits become more standardised. Overall, we don't anticipate sweeping increases in salaries for 2021 across the accounting market. Naturally, those areas where there is a demand for a limited number of candidates, fp &A, business partnering, modelling, technical accounting candidates, we would anticipate a salary or rate growth of 5%. There will also continue to be a disconnect in the contracting market as candidates switch to PAYE structures off the back of which we may see increases in salaries, particularly for senior contracting accountants.